In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a square, and out of that square, how to make an octagon, and then a 16-sided figure um, using compass, straight edge, pencil. We'll start out by clearing the space and drawing a point. That's the point that we're going to work. Using that point, we'll draw ourselves a nice sized circle. Um, for drawing figures with lots of edges, um, we want to have a pretty large sized circle. So so there's our, our circle that we have there. Oh, hello. Um, and from here, what I'm going to do to draw a square is, first of all, I'm going to draw one line. It doesn't matter much what I do with that line, but um, now what I'm going to do is come from this point here. I'm going to go more than halfway out of the circle. I want to come up pretty high so that my mark is sort of out of the way. But I'm going to mark up here and here as well. And that will give me my perpendicular from the square or from the center to there. Now with perpendicular lines going through the center of a circle, I can start out making my first shape. Similar to the video I did on uh, from a triangle to a hexagon, now what we're going to do is follow that pattern. We'll bisect this side length from here to here, that line segment. We're going to bisect that line segment by spreading our compass out farther than halfway across, making a mark from one side and a mark from the other side, and drawing that into the center of the circle. That will bisect that line segment. More importantly, it bisects this arc from here to here, and that gives us the length of each side of our octagon. So. There we go. So that blue shape, the blue um, polygon there is a regular octagon formed around that regular square. Well, square. Now, if I want to make a 16-sided figure, I'm going to follow exactly the same steps. I'm going to bisect one of these lines. It doesn't matter which line segment I do, because they all should be congruent. So I'll bisect this one, because it's kind of out of the way and I don't have to run into anything else when I do that. So I bisect that line segment, and that gives me the length from here to here that I'm going to basically copy all the way around this circle. So there you have it, um, the green square, a blue octagon, and a red 16-sided figure. You can use this technique for drawing pretty much um, any type of po regular polygon, just dividing each time in half. So the next time we were to do this, if you divided one of these line segments in half, you turn around and have a 32-sided uh, polygon. So I did that using a straight edge, a colored pencil, um, compass and regular pencil.